My overall philosophy about this culture war is it's not my goal for one side to win. I don't see how. Oh that, yeah, I, I don't agree. see how totally. that's a good thing. And so one of the like, if I were to have a philosophy, it would be post labelism, like a an incredulity towards labels, meaning that you know if you're if I, I just don't find a lot of value in labeling a specific argument as conservative or even certain figures as conservative, like it's really important. I try as hard as I can to just evaluate an idea, not based on whose mouth it comes out of or whose camp it might fall into, because then I think you can fall into a trap where people kind of curate their opinions to where it falls into the appropriate category. And then that just reinforces this tribalism. So I'm always trying to, so for example, like you mentioned the intellectual dark web, uh, ben Shapiro is a person that I don't particularly like because I think that he is overly sensational with his content. He likes to uh, really push further into this divisiveness in order for his business to grow, in order to get clicks. However, that doesn't mean that whenever that, that there have been a handful of times where he says things that I agree with. And I don't have a problem admitting that because, you know, whether it's the saying that even a broken clock is right twice a day, but it just isn't like the only way that we're going to get a diehard Ben Shapiro supporter to see us as even human is if we're able to at least, you know, be on their level and see him as human and see, you know, the person that this hypothetical person is human. So, um, for sure, that's, yeah. that, that's, I'm always trying to like challenge myself not to uh, stop thinking critically because of a particular label or, you know, a, a, of a particular tribe that a person stands for.